Here are some of the major Earth changes to note. I will go into a little more detail on each of these. The discovery of a new and the largest underwater volcano. A giant crack in Africa creating a new ocean. Tectonic plate peeling apart which could sink the Atlantic Ocean according to scientists. New Zealand's moving islands. New islands. Earth's rotation slowing. The fault line separation in Minnesota. Weird cosmic radiation coming out of Antarctica. Second magnetic field surrounding our planet found, also affecting airplanes. Major magnetic north pole movement. Okay, and the kittens are being really loud playing, so if you hear that in the background, sorry. <laughs> there are many more major Earth changes taking place, but I'm going to cover these 10 today. And a lot of these changes have been increasing in intensity over the past 10 to 20 years. Some speeding up drastically in the past 5 years and even sooner. The system has been nearing us and we have noticed major earth changes over the past years, which is increasing in frequency and intensity and speeding up faster and faster. With this system, we are already seeing its influence. Even in the last 10 years alone, we have seen a sharp rise in the number of intensity, number and intensity of natural disasters. Okay, let's get started. The discovery of a new and the largest underwater volcano. Geologists discovered largest underwater volcano and explain weird hum heard around the world. A strange seismic event off the coast of Africa has led scientists to a mighty finding, the discovery of the largest underwater volcanic eruption ever recorded. The eruption also may explain a weird seismic event recorded in November 2018, located in the Indian Ocean. Researchers described that event as a seismic hum that circled the world, but no one could figure out what sparked it. For starters, the hum rang at a single ultra-low frequency, which was strange because seismic waves usually rumble at many frequencies. Moreover, there were hardly any detectable P waves or S waves, which usually accompany earthquakes. And incredibly, an island moved a few inches south and east after the mysterious event. Now scientists have an idea why. The weird seismic hum was likely the birth announcement of a new underwater volcano. The underwater, or yeah, the underwater volcano is enormous, rising nearly half a mile from the ocean floor. It's a length of a 3.1 mile race, and it came into being in just six months. We have never seen anything like this. Natalie, a leader of an expedition to the site by the research vessel, who is with the Institute of Geo Geophysics in Paris, told Science Magazine, a volcano in the Indian Ocean. Mayota isn't a stranger to volcanic eruptions, but it's been at least 4,000 years since volcanoes last started in the area, National Geographic reported. Okay, number two, a giant crack in Africa creating a new ocean. Africa is witnessing the birth of a new ocean, according to scientists. The international team of scientists, including Dr. Wright, have seen amazing changes in the past five years, where the continent is cracking open quite literally underneath their feet. At one point, a 37-mile-long stretch of the Earth opened up with a width of 8 meters over a period of just 10 days. Hot molten rock from deep within the Earth is trickling to the surface. Underground eruptions are still continuing, and ultimately, the Horn of Africa will fall away and a new ocean will form. The researchers say that they are extremely lucky to be able to witness the birth of this ocean, as the process is normally hidden beneath the seas. So major earth changes are happening around Africa. New major volcanoes and, new, and a new ocean forming. That's huge. Number three, tectonic plate peeling apart and could sink the Atlantic Ocean. There's something weird going on in the Atlantic Ocean. Off the coast of Portugal, a tectonic plate may be peeling apart with the top layer separating from the bottom. A tectonic plate that appears to be peeling apart on the seabed off the coast of Portugal may one day shrink the Atlantic Ocean, scientists say. Okay, number four, New Zealand's moving islands. New Zealand's South Island is now more than a foot closer to its North Island. Researchers learned in 2018 the catalyst was the magnitude 7.8 earthquake that shook the nation in 2016. Since then, the Earth's crust has continued to shift, which is why the two islands have moved nearly 14 inches closer to each other than they were even before the earthquake. Number five, new islands. 10 new islands formed in the last 20 years, and yes, islands are disappearing. For example, the five Solomon Islands that were lost to the rising sea levels. This is showing off an ever-changing Earth, and you can find more information on these new islands below. Just click the link. 
Number six, Earth's rotation is slowing. Because NASA tracks the length of the day to the microsecond, these slowdowns in Earth's spin can be predicted five years in advance. Based on that data, the Earth is entering a period of prolonged slower rotation. As a result, we could see more large earthquakes. Whereas an average year might see about 15 earthquakes of magnitude 7 point or greater, the next four years could see closer to 20 earthquakes of that size. A year prior to all the news and the media coming out with the earthquake warnings due to Earth's rotation slowing, they came out with articles on the slowing of Earth's spin revealed in ancient astronomers' tablets. And also, Mike has mentioned that it will start fluctuating, so watch for that as well. Number 7. Fault Line Separation in Minnesota This story coming out in the past week has caught some attention. Minnesota's news even put this out. Portion, okay, a portion of Highway 67 is closed due to fault line separation. The only information they've put out on this is, according to the Minnesota Department of Transportation, a portion of the highway near Gran- or Granite Falls has closed after a fault line began to separate. The Minnesota Department of Transportation reported that the crack separated one inch per day. Now, Mary Greeley with Mary Greeley News says dramatic fault line separation in Minnesota shows possible North America craton movement. Number 8. Cosmic radiation coming out of Antarctica. ANITA, which stands for Antarctic Impulsive Transit Antenna, sorry, it seeks out cosmic rays from space while hanging from a balloon suspended over Antarctica. In the last two years, though, it has twice detected cosmic rays coming from a direction no one expected, inside the Earth. According to the standard model of physics, this shouldn't be possible. In September, a paper was submitted by, or for peer review by astrophysicists at Penn State led by Derek Fox. I was like, well, this model doesn't make much sense, Fox tells Life Science, but the Anita results is very intriguing, so I started checking up on it. I started talking to my office neighbor about whether maybe we could gin up some more plausible explanations than the papers that have been published to date. Lacking any, they looked for other similar events and found three. They'd been detected by a surface-based Antarctic or yeah Antarctic detector called Ice Cube, and the data from Anita and Ice Cube, when combined, the Penn State scientists started getting excited. They cal- or, yeah, they calculate that whatever kind of particle is flying up and away from Earth has a less than 1 in 3.5 million chance of being any of the particles predicted by the standard model. Obviously, this has physicists scratching their heads trying to figure out what on Earth is going on. Now, we also know Mike from around the world has been telling us about things like this and that a new type of cosmic radiation, or to look for a new type of cosmic radiation or exotic particles. Life science goes on to state the following. They could be a new kind of particle. So that kind of fits that. Science Alert reports a hidden radioactive heat source seems to be melting Antarctica from below. Ice in this area appears to be melting from the bottom up. According to radar readings taken by an aircraft flying over the frozen continent. So lots going on in an- or at Antarctica also. Now we know Antarctica is a big place for bizarre events in history and with current world events and probably future events as well okay number nine a second magnetic field surrounding our planet has been found in april of 2018 scientists reported the esa just discovered a second magnetic field surrounding our planet a trio of satellites studying our planet's magnetic field have shown details of the steady swell of a magnetic field produced by the ocean's tides when a fundamental level both fields are the res- planes flying through some of these areas are having problems. You're probably also noticing many airplane crashes daily now, and that's due to magnetics and all of this. It will become extremely hard for planes to fly, and it will be like they are just falling out of the sky. Number 10, Magnetic North Pole Movement. Coming out February 2019, Magnetic North Pole is moving faster than scientists expected. It has moved so much and so quickly that a group of scientists hurried to change a model that helps guide shipping, airplanes, and submarines in the Arctic Ocean. The two agencies were planning to report changes in the magnetic North Pole as they do every five years at the end of 2019, but the pole has moved so quickly they had to release the information much sooner. Scientists have found that the magnetic North Pole is moving at a speed of about 34 miles every year. 
100 years ago, the pole was located near the coast of northern Canada. It crossed the International Date Line, the imaginary line running through the Pacific Ocean from the North Pole to the South Pole, in 2017. Now the magnetic North Pole is in the middle of the Arctic Ocean and moving towards Russia. Began is with the British Geological Survey, and he tells the news agencies that the magnetic North Pole didn't move much between 1900 and 1980, but it's really accelerated in the past 40 years. Since 1831, when the pole was first measured in the Canadian Arctic, it has moved about 1,429 miles towards Siberia. The speed of its movement has increased from about 9 miles a year to 34 miles per year since 2000 and is starting to speed up faster and faster. Lathrop sees a reversal coming sooner, not later, because of the weakened magnetic field. An area over the South Atlantic has already reversed beneath Earth's surface. And a general business insider says, Earth's magnetic North Pole is moving too fast for experts to keep up. Key notes on that article. In the past few years, it has moved so much that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued an early update to its world magnetic model, which informs everything from GPS apps to the U.S. Department of Defense's navigation systems. Scientists aren't certain why the planet's magnetic field, which protects us from deadly solar winds, keeps shifting. In a new study, researchers modeled the timing of sudden geomagnetic jerks. Under geomagnetic jerks and rapid hydromagnetic waves, linked below, I haven't been able to download and study that yet. In February, there was published papers that stated, pole shift already underway and quickening scientists are saying. Scientists say there is now more than enough mounting evidence to prove that a planetary pole shift is already underway. So that's 10 major Earth changes taking place before our eyes. And that's not even mentioning the major solar system changes. For example, Jupiter. Let me read this for you all. It has a recent major new update. NASA, May 20th. NASA's Juno finds changes in Jupiter's magnetic field. Now, from space weather. Amateur astronomers are monitoring a strange phenomenon on the verge of Jupiter's great red spot. The giant storm appears to be unraveling. I haven't seen this before in my 17 or so years of imaging Jupiter, reports veteran observer Anthony Wesley of Australia, who photographed a streamer of gas detaching itself from the GRS on May 19th. Okay, May 22nd. Space weather update. Alert, the great red spot is distorted. Jupiter's great red spot, he reports that the giant storm is badly distorted, and this follows multiple observations by amateur astronomers of streamers of gas peeling off the GRS. It seems the process taking place there is increasing significantly in intensity. That's what they wrote. Now, space weather major update. This is big. June 7th. What's happening to the great red spot? The biggest storm in the solar system is shrinking. Since mid-May, Jupiter's great red spot has contracted a startling 1,864 miles, reducing the size of the anticyclone by more than 20%. That's by mid-May. That's, that's a crazy drastic change. Enormous rivulets of red gas are streaming away from the storm as it spins. This is something we've never seen before, says Veto Vito, who assembled the animation by stitching together images from nearly a dozen amateur astronomers. Experienced observers say the storm is getting a new shape every day in a dramatic metamorphosis. Ah, I can't say that word, sorry. Metamorphosis as the red spot appears to be unraveling. The Jopos project, which is J U P O S. Jupos Project manages the largest Jupiter database in the world, says Fedovito. So far, we have collected more than 1 million measurements, including old images and drawings from the 18th century, allow allowing us to plot very precise trends in the Great Red Spot. This plot, for instance, shows the sudden decrease in the storm's diameter since early May. So major, major changes happening on Jupiter and all throughout our whole solar system. Major Earth changes, just major changes in general. Now most of you know I'm into astrophotography. So last night I got out my Celestron Nexstar 8SC telescope and the Skyrus 236C AstroCam. I snapped a few pictures of Jupiter myself, so I'm going to show those, but they aren't as good as your advanced backyard astronomers, but still cool to look at. Check those out.